Hi crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and it is Technique Tuesday. We are going to be working with some new DSP, that's Designer Series Paper from Stamping Up. Maudie and I spent a couple hours, well actually more than a couple hours, coming up with this template to take one 12 by 12 and create 16 cards. And we feel that they're beautiful. So let's head down to the crafting table and let me show you what we're gonna work with. Look at this gorgeous paper. This is from Masterfully Made. I mean, you have some beautiful colors with this paper. We're just loving it. Don't you love it? And remember, this DSP is front and back. So you have the front of this, but you also have a beautiful design on the back. And I will list this below the video. So if you want to get this, which you should because it's so beautiful, there's going to be a link below the video that you can do that at our online store. First, we have to decide which sheet we want to cut. And Monty and I decided that this is the one crafters have a lot of trouble deciding exactly how to cut. So we have designed a template and you can head on over to creativemomentsbyg.com to my blog and find this card and you can download the template. But let me show you how we're going to do that. The first thing you need to do is, yes, we are going to slice this paper, but it's going to create 16 beautiful cards that you can send to your friends and family and spread some happiness. So we need to put it in our trimmer and we're going to cut four squares of six by six. So it doesn't really matter on this side how you cut it. Just put it in your trimmer and slice it. Now we're going to turn it long ways and we're going to slice it. And what is so neat about what Maudie and I have designed is there is absolutely no waste. There's not one piece that you do not use. Go ahead and put this in and we are going to slice it. So now we have four pieces of six by six, and we are going to turn this into 16 cards. Now, take one of the six by sixes, and the very first thing you wanna do is cut one inch off the bottom. So let's put that in our trimmer and cut off one inch. Now we're just lining this up right here so that you can see exactly what it's going to look like. And now we have this piece of paper. We are cutting this at three and three fourths. So go ahead and just put it in. And now we have two pieces. We still have that six inch square. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it into four cards. Let's go ahead and do that. The first one that we're going to create is this card right here. Look at this one. It's a top fold card. And now we're just taking this one piece and we are going to be able to create two cards out of this. Put this right in the center and we're going to cut out the middle of this mat right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're just going to punch this circle out and this is going to be used for our second card from this six by six that we cut out over here. Now we're going to take this off and we are going to bring in a top fold. So here we have our top fold and we also have a mat that we've cut out that we're going to lay right down here. We are going to stamp our message right on the inside of this circle. 
So let's go ahead and just put a little bit of repositional tape right here so it doesn't move. We don't want to glue it down because if you glue it down and you make a mistake, you won't be able to flip it. So let's not, let's not do that. Let's just put some repositional tape. I want to bring in my Knight of Navy stamping pad because I really like the way it stamps. And tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to stamp this right in the center. And I'm going to hold it there so we can transfer all that rich ink. And look at that. Now I can take this off and add my glue. And lay this down on top of my mat. Now I'm going to lay this right on top of my card and look at those bright colors. Now we are using the colors that they recommend that you use with this package of DSP. They're very bright colors. Um, Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime Twist, Lost Lagoon, beautiful, beautiful colors. Now let's go ahead and lay down our white on the inside. And we have created our first card. Now remember I told you that we were going to use this to create our second card. Let me show you that second card. We went ahead and we embossed our mats. We added our sentiment on the front and we added our beautiful cutout right there so that you could see it through the window. So we had one piece of that six by six and we turned it into two cards. So we have our two cards made. Now let's move on over to this little strip right here and create a card from it. What we did is we took our countryside embossing folder and look at that, we ran it through the embossing machine. Just a very light embossed area, but so pretty. We made this the front of our card, and then we went ahead and we took some real red, and we used this new embossing folder. Now this embossing folder is called Geometric Patterns, and I will have this linked below the video. But we went ahead and we cut our strip of paper. Now remember, we are going to provide you with the template over on our blog. It's a PDF so you can download it and get all these measurements. So the next card that we're going to create is this one. We're going to lay this down right on top, making sure that we have it balanced in terms of our placement. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, because this is a 3D embossing folder, you want to make sure you get enough glue everywhere. Just lay that down. Get it centered. And we're going to take this piece that we already cut and we are going to set it up on dimensionals. So we're just going to add a couple to the back so that when you do send this in the mail as some happy mail, that it will stay uh, popped up on the card. So let's just take off the backing and then lay it down. Okay, we're just going to center that. And now we're bringing in our oval punch. And we punched out 
real red as our background and as our front we use that lemon lime twist so we're going to stamp our message thank you right here and we're going to stamp it with our knight of navy so tap 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 We're going to add this on some dimensionals. We're going to bring in some jewels to just add to that cute little sentiment. And I'm just going to bring in some red. I'm just going to put it right here on the edge. And we are going to glue this down right on the top. Now, you can add some white paper in here if you want to. But you don't have to because this is very light and they can write their sentiment. So here is one that we did using the lemon lime twist as the card. And here is another one that we did using the real red. What do you think about those cards? Loving those cards. So now we've created three cards from that one six by six. And we only have one little piece left. We have this small piece right here. So let's go ahead and create our fourth card from this one six by six. Now on this base card, we decide to run it through one of our embossing folders called Basics 3D. And it creates these beautiful raised dots. Look at those, just gorgeous. So we went ahead and we did that. And then we decided to cut another mat and we used Melon Mambo just with this other, this is a three pack embossing folder and this is a very subtle type embossing folder. But you can still see it's so pretty. Look at that. Now what we're doing is we're turning this one landscape. So make sure that you get your bone folder and you really give it a good crease. And now we're going to take our two mats. We are going to just glue them on top of each other. We're taking our last strip from the six by six square that we cut. We cut another strip of paper right here to match this mat right here. And we are going to simply glue these two together. So let's just put a little bit of glue right here. Lay it down, making sure that we have the same border at the top and the bottom. And we are going to lay this diagonally over this piece of paper and adhere it to our mats. So let's just get some glue on there. We're just lining up those points. We're gonna bring in our scissors and we're just cutting this part off. Now I am using my scissors that are Teflon coated in case it gets any glue on it. And look at how pretty that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's go ahead and lay this down right on the front of our card with some glue.
make sure these are little bumps so make sure that you get enough glue on those corners and now what we did is we used our stitched ovals again to cut out some shapes for us because we're going to lay this right on top and we're going to stamp on this one. We're going to bring in our Knight of Navy again. Tap, tap, tap. And we are going to set this one up on dimensionals. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Take the backing off. And we're going to lay this one down right here, just on top of our paper. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Just get this lined up. And now we're going to lay down our sentiment mat on the inside of our card. And now we have four cards made out of one six by six. And let's just look at those again. Here we have it. Look at those. That is one six by six. Now remember, you cut four six by six. So this is four. You're going to take one of the remaining six by six squares and you're going to duplicate this. So now you have eight cards. Fantastic, right? Here we go. We have eight cards out of two six by six squares. So let's move on to how we cut our next six by six. We're going to once again cut the bottom off. And that is going to give us a strip that we can make a card with. So we're going to lay this down. Now we're going to cut the same dimensions three and three fourths. We still have this strip we're going to place right there. And we are going to cut this diagonally. So we are putting it in our trimmer from point to point and just cutting it right from corner to corner. And now you're going to be able to make two cards out of this. So you have one, two, three, four cards. And just like the other one, you're going to use that last six by six to duplicate this. So that's how we get our 16 cards. But let's go ahead and make a diagonal card so that you can see how we can make two cards just like this, just using one will be up at the top and one will be up at the bottom in terms of laying it on your base card. So we are taking just a normal base card that folds to the side. We cut out a mat. Look at this beautiful embossing folder that we ran it through. We are going to lay that down, making sure that you have the right side up. We're going to lay that down on the front of our card. And once again, this is a 3D embossing folder, so it has a lot of crevices in it. So make sure that you get enough glue and really hold it down on your card. Now we are going to take this diagonal cut and we are going to add some strips to it. So grab your strips that act just like dimensionals and put that right on the back of your diagonal cut. I'm going to put one in the center just to make it a little sturdier and then run it down the side.
Okay, we're going to take the backing off and then lay it down on our card. We're just going to line this up. Now, making sure that we have a little border at the top and the bottom. We have punched out two different colors using our oval punch, and we are going to set this up on dimensionals. And then we're just going to adhere this to the front of our card. Now we're going to add some gems to the front right here. And because this card is already so light on the inside, you don't need to put another mat, but you can always add another mat. So here we have it on the right hand side. We created another card using it on the top part. And then we also created using, of course, just our six by six, where we have it on the bottom. You can add this diagonal to the top right to the bottom right to the bottom left you can add it in so many different ways now look at that we use different colors we also took our final strip remember we have we cut our diagonal so we still have this strip and this strip we created this card we just added some mats, added some dimensionals to raise this up, and then added a mat on the inside using this strip. We created another card using this panel right here that was left over, and this is the card that we created. So you can use that one 12 by 12 and create 16 cards. Now let me show you all the cards that we created. Okay, so we have our strip right here. We have another strip, but this time we ran it diagonally. Remember we had our cut out that we used to create a card, but we also used the cut out just like this. We created using our panels. Now you're going to have four of these panels because you have four of the six by six squares. So here are two of what the panels will look like. Look at those. We also did this diagonal, but we put it the other way. So see, we have one going from the right to the left and one from the left to the right. On this one, I forgot to add our beautiful little frame, so let me do that very quickly because that really adds to the beauty of it. Now look at the difference. It just pops, right? It pops even more. So here we have those two cards. We have our diagonal cards that show you different ways that you can do a diagonal cut. We have another one of our strip cards. So all you have to do is take those additional two six by six piece of paper that you have, cut them using the template that you're going to get over on our website, and you will be able to cut out 16 cards. We have 11 of those cards right here because they're going to be duplicates. We hope you love these cards as much as we do. I know it's hard to cut DSP, but you need to do it because you can see of all the happiness that you can spread to your friends and family. We sure would appreciate it if you would take a moment and leave a comment. Let us know what you thought. Let us know your favorite card. 
Let us know if you are going to take the challenge and slice that DSP, even though it's so beautiful. Let's spread the happiness. Go out, make it a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.